Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report, DJI intros new Mavic Pro accessories, the FAI Drone Racing World Cup 2017, Washington HB 1049 is causing concern. Hi, I'm Brie Cross. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. There's little question that the DJI Mavic is carving out a lot of market share. Now new accessories for the Mavic Pro have been added to the mix. Two new products will shield the Mavic Pro's propellers. The propeller guard places a barrier just around the propellers, while the propeller cage mounts on the Mavic Pro's arms and completely encircles a set of slightly smaller quick-release folding propellers. A new advanced battery charging hub for Mavic Pro is a smart, quick, and reliable way to charge up to four intelligent flight batteries in a single session. The intelligent flight batteries will be charged in sequence according to their power levels from high to low. The new aircraft sleeve provides Mavic Pro owners additional peace of mind when carrying and storing their drone. The sleeve is custom designed to nestle the Mavic Pro in its soft interior padding, helping to minimize the risk of external scratches and other damage. Other accessories designed for outdoor aerial enthusiasts include a new remote controller monitor hood, giving operators a better view of what they are shooting under direct sunlight, and ND filters which can be easily attached. In the next drone minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. We knew it was coming, but Lady Gaga's halftime show, supported by some 300 drones controlled by Intel, the same folks who co-chaired the FAA's Drone Advisory Committee, turned in quite the performance. While the actual flights were done and recorded before the performance, they had to be cleared by the FAA in order to avoid issues with the 34.5 mile radius TFR that was established around the stadium during the course of the event. On the other hand, as the Atlanta Falcons prepared for the Super Bowl, someone living near their practice site decided to try to get a peek at the team practice. Security grounded the drone and the incident was described by the NFL as a brief security heads up. ANN has just published an interview with new AMA president Rich Hansen based on interviews conducted at AMA Expo West. Rich has a lot on his plate with all these new drones taking to the skies, but he says that AMA is up for the challenge. AMA has always found a way to welcome and develop new technologies and finding a way for those enthusiasts to operate safely and responsibly, and that's our goal for this new technology. Be sure to check out the entire interview at www.amadronereport.com. That was today's Drone Minute. We'll be back with more of the AMA Drone Report after this brief message. Come experience the best of model aviation at the AMA Expo East in Secaucus, New Jersey. 100 booths, flying demos, make and take activities for kids, and many guest speakers including AMA Ambassador Hoot Gibson. Visit amaexpo.com to get your tickets and we'll see you February 24th to 26th. Welcome back. If you'd like to suggest a story for Airborne Aero TV, our website or podcast, drop an email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Now back to the news. Standby drone racing fans, the FAI Drone Racing World Cup 2017 is coming and it looks set to be better and more exciting than ever before. A total of 15 events have already been confirmed for the 2017 edition of the FAI Drone Racing World Cup. According to the FAI, that's three more than there were in the 2016 competition. It's also reported that organizers expect further competitions to be announced in countries such as Slovakia, Poland, and right here in the USA. At each event, competitors will participate in a series of races, flying multi-rotor drone with at least three power-driven propellers and weighing no more than one kilogram. Drone racing competitions consist of successive races in which several model aircraft fight it out to be the fastest around the course. The drones are equipped with onboard video cameras that transmit images to headsets worn by the pilots, allowing them to steer the racers throughout the course. 
This year's World Cup will begin and end in Sevilla, Spain. Last year's event attracted 229 competitors from 17 different countries. As the popularity of drone racing grows around the world, even more pilots are expected to fight it out to be crowned champion in 2017. The aviation community is growing increasingly concerned about Washington HB 1049. Possibly well-intended, Washington State's HB 1049 creates numerous concerns that violate federal authority and could be problematic for AMA members. The proposed law would require all model aircraft to be prominently labeled with the owner's name and phone number. In addition to privacy concerns, this runs counter to FAA's guidance and harms our scale builder community. The bill also introduces regulations to the national airspace and incorrectly characterizes Section 336, the special rule for model aircraft. HB 1049 is currently being reviewed in the House of the Washington State Legislation. AMA has provided a suggested letter for you to edit and send with just a couple clicks from an online info site. Mind you, this bill affects the residents in the state of Washington and is not a federal bill from Washington, D.C. Be sure to check out the government page on the AMA website for information on how you can support the opposition to this potential legislation and other important drone legislation. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And in addition to this program, our daily Airborne Limited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world, our stream daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And for more on the exciting hobby drone world, check out www.modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.